Welcome back everybody. It's me again. It's always me. That's why you tune into this channel for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Thanks mom for getting everybody to subscribe. No, uh, let's get right into it. First things first, moments ago, I just made a predict prediction, excuse me, on Jabbar Muhammad, the Washington cornerback transfer. I predicted him to Oregon uh, yesterday on threes, Jerry Hamilton, who does cover the Texas uh, recruiting site inside Texas with on three. He had a prediction in uh, a few days ago or late last week, whatever, four or five days ago for Texas. He has sw since switched his to Oregon as well. So kind of feels like maybe Texas is waving the white flag, if you will, there. Uh, I think Oregon's been the team to beat all along. I know when he made his prediction, I was very cautious with readers on Scoop Duck saying, hey, just relax, give it a little bit. You know, he's going to visit, just sit tight. So with the weather conditions and other things that I've noted before, you know, Oregon needed to push that visit back. And and as a byproduct, your last visit. So that's a good thing in this particular case, I believe. So I think Oregon's trending there, should be on campus later this week. And it, and it feels like that's another big piece for the Ducks to land. Obviously, we're starting to see a little bit of, of, of talk about Jalil Florence. He posted a picture inside the uh, Hatfield-Dallin complex in a brace. So clearly he's injured. Um, you know, that that hasn't been clarified to the extent or what the injury was, but it looks like he's out probably more than likely, at least for spring spring ball uh, with the way that brace looked. So additionally, with a 2025 recruit tight end, Desan Brom out of Kansas uh, on threes, Chad Simmons put in a prediction for him uh, this morning as well. Two totally different picks, mine and his. Um, and he is expected to visit Oregon February 3rd. He's the number 113 ranked recruit overall. I think he's the number three or number four tight end in the country uh, in the on three industry ranking. So that's a big pickup. I mean, potentially it doesn't look like he's going to commit uh, when he visits Oregon, but if, with Oregon in the driver's seat, uh, that would be a, a really nice addition to this recruiting class. The Ducks are very active at tight end. Uh, looks like they'll sign two, at least two uh, tight ends in this recruiting class. And uh, Brom would be a big one. Um, Bear Tenney, another tight end, also in the 2025 class, was from Arizona, is now in Utah, uh, did an interview with him, glowing remarks about Oregon, opened the window for potentially committing this weekend if he likes it. We'll see what Oregon does there. Do they push for an early commitment from Bear Tenney? Do they wait to see what Brom does uh, in a couple weeks? Do they? Who knows? I don't know, but it's something to watch. Certainly a lot of, uh, of things going on there in, in, with regards to tight end. Next thing I'll touch on, which isn't necessarily Oregon related, but could be, we've seen like a crazy transfer portal window the last few weeks because of the move by Nick Saban to retired Alabama. That pulled Kalen DeBoer from Washington. That pulled Jed Fish from Arizona. All three of those schools and then San Jose State as well, seeing an exodus of, of, of transfer players each direction. Uh, what if Jim Harbaugh goes to the NFL? Okay, that's, that's looking pretty serious. Looks like the Chargers are serious about Harbaugh. Uh, does does that open the transfer window with Michigan? Does Michigan just immediately promote Sharon Moore, like some of us think, which seems to make sense, probably common sense, but you never know with some of these athletic directors. They seem to throw common sense out the window. What if, massive what if, what if Michigan decides that they want to hire Brian Kelly from LSU? What if they decide they want to pursue Dabo Swinney from Clemson? You know, it's obviously a what if, but it's not super unrealistic. Does that open the transfer portal window for Michigan and then for LSU or Clemson or whoever? And then, you know, those two schools would hire somebody else. Who knows where they're from? So could see another little small wave of, of transfer window. Who knows? And I think if you're Dan Lanning, you're just kind of keeping your eye on uh, anything that might jump in there that, that could interest you. On the men's basketball front, okay, briefly, uh, Dana Altman had a press conference yesterday uh, quickly opened up and talked about Nate Biddle, um, more than likely making his return this week. If he does, you've got to assume he's probably not going to log heavy minutes against the Arizona schools, but at least getting him back on the floor is a win, kind of get him going, get the rust off, maybe see what you got there. Unfortunately, Mookie Cook is hurt once again, so he was in a walking boot. Who knows what that means? I'm going to assume, I feel like it's safely assumed that he's probably out this week. Who knows what the extent of that injury is? So, uh, when just when you think Oregon men's basketball is getting healthy and ready to go, 
you know, there's never a dull moment there. So anyways, that's all for now. Thanks for subscribing and, and liking the Scoop Duck Daily. In just a couple short weeks, we're over 500 subscribers. So next goal is 1,000. Thanks, guys.